Nestle provides you with tastier and healthier everyday choices to enhance your quality of life. Nestle, good food, good life. In the US, a study was done recently where people's food choices were put to the test. Restaurant patrons were given menus with the amount of exercise they need to do to burn off that meal. The test results showed that patrons chose healthier options when they knew the amount of work needed to be done to metabolize the meal. So we've decided to do our own experiment. We presented the public with three typical fast food options and asked them to guess the amount of exercise needed to burn off their favorite takeaways. Can you tell me how much exercise do you think you'll need to burn off a burger and chips? Probably like two hours. A run along here. <laughs> I have no idea. About two, well, an hour and a half on a treadmill. I don't know. I don't eat burgers. <laughs> Yuck! Two hour run. <laughs> Much more than that. Four hours. We asked registered dietitian Lauren Bartholomew to calculate the kilojoule content of the meals and work out the exercise equivalent for each dish, which had surprising results. Well, the typical hamburger and chips can easily equate about 3,000 kilojoules, and of that is about uh, 68 grams of carbohydrates, which is quite a lot, and of that is also 37 grams of fat and 33 grams of protein. But the typical person weighing about 75 kilograms would need to do about two hours of casual cycling, 100 minutes of casual walking, or even even 100 minutes of swimming. Haha, <laughs> I won. <laughs> That's a lot. Ah, okay. Well, there's many ways that this meal can be made healthier. I'm starting with the protein. So you can see here, um, this is a beef burger. So you can easily change that to uh, extra lean mince with some lentils and make your own patty at home. Over here we see mozzarella. Um, you can also use low-fat cottage cheese or even ricotta. And if you don't want cheese, you can easily add some avo and then this can easily reduce it by a thousand kilojoules just by opting for those healthier options. How much do you think you'll need to burn off a bunny chow? About two hours on a treadmill. <laughs> Fast. <laughs> you probably have to run the promenade like uh, for a couple of days. Bunny chow, yo, that's hectic, that's quite a bit. Mm, I'd say like two days staunch, like going strong. Don't bunny chows help you burn off by themselves? <laughs> Well, a typical bunny chow can easily equate to about 3,000 kilojoules and it's usually in about a half a loaf of bread and that is the carbohydrate content that pushes up those calories quite a lot. To burn off these 3,000 kilojoules, you easily need to do about two hours of cycling, 100 minutes of swimming and also 140 minutes of slow-paced casual walking. A bunny chow can be made healthier by adding vegetables, lentils or beans. One of the best options is to ditch the bread and rather serve the curry with a small portion of brown rice. What if I asked how much exercise you'll need to burn off a pizza? You probably have to run far, maybe like all of the promenade or more. I don't know, maybe like, I don't know, few hours, five hours? Two hours as well. About the same as bigger, four hours. Four hours, my word. <laughs> Well, a typical pizza that contains a lot of cheese and typically a lot of meat as well can easily be 2,000 kilojoules per slice. Now, we all know that a whole pizza contains about eight slices of pizza, so that's a staggering 16,000 kilojoules for an entire pizza. And 16,000 kilojoules is more than what the average person should even be eating in an entire day. So to burn off an entire pizza, it's going to take you almost a whole day to, cook, to burn those calories. Yeah, totally worth it. But there's vegetables on it. What if you get like an aubergine, uh, pesto, avo, pizza? That's a lot of nutrients. You can give your pizza a healthy makeover with a vegetable topping. Opt for less or no cheese and rather stick to eating just a slice or two. As much as we love our food, we often eat without thinking. So before you order that burger and side chips, you might want to take a good look at your meal and consider how much exercise you'd need to do to burn it off. I would suggest the healthier option is a smarter choice. Nestle provides you with tastier and healthier everyday choices to enhance your quality of life. Nestle. Good food, good life.